Is it possible to jump out from the space station and land on Earth without the space vehicle? I'm guessing you're thinking along the lines of the world's highest skydive. The answer is no. There are a few reasons for this. The first is that the ISS is in orbit, so when you leave the ISS, you are also in orbit. An orbiting body is in free fall around the planet. What this means is that you are falling towards the ground, but you are moving so fast you keep missing the horizon, and continue to fall around the planet, never reaching the ground. In the case of the ISS, you would be moving at 27,600 km per hour, 17,100 miles per hour. So, let's say you were able to slow yourself down enough so that your orbit started to decay, which means you start falling into that planet rather than around it. Unless you manage to slow yourself down to the point where you had zero velocity, which, given modern technology couldn't happen, since you would hit atmosphere long before you reached that point, you would burn up on re-entry, just like a meteor as the air friction from your still very high speed heated you up to the point where you ignite and burn. This is why all re-entry vehicles have a heat shield, which they keep oriented towards their path of re-entry. If you tried to leave the space station by jumping, you would just enter a new, slightly different orbit. You wouldn't fall to Earth. You would still have the orbital velocity of the space station which is high enough to ensure the space station doesn't fall. Yes, it orbits. You're in orbit with it. Jumping towards Earth doesn't change that. You stay in orbit as long as your velocity is orbital, it's just the way it works. Since you've jumped inwards from the orbit, but maintain the same velocity, you'll accelerate ahead of the station, and then eventually be back at the same height, then above and then gradually come back to meet it again. Confusing, isn't it? You would need to jump at an incredible speed, retrograde to the orbit, to lose enough velocity to fall inwards to the point where atmospheric resistance slowed you enough to continue slowing you and bringing you closer. Not possible without some way of reducing your orbital velocity. An engine with enough propellant. Jumping alone is not enough. You would need to burn rockets enough to lower your perigee into the atmosphere, this could be accomplished with a small solid fuel engine. After half an orbit, or about 45 minutes, you would enter the atmosphere and burn up as a particularly bright shooting star. The way to avoid burning up is to decrease your effective density such that your deceleration occurs higher, and over a longer period than the spacecraft that rely on significant heat shields. A back-of-the-envelope calculation says that if you could increase your surface area to a few hundred square meters, with, say, a bottle, then the deceleration and heating is much more gentle. Once you drop the terminal velocity you just fall for a few minutes like Felix Baumgartner and land with the regular parachute, probably in the ocean. That's all from today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get updated of such new